Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here from CES 2008 with David Harrington of Drobo. Or, company's not named Drobo, it's Data Robotics. Drobo's the product, and it's the world's first storage robot. What does that mean? Ah, well, great question. D Data Robotics has built a storage device that automates many of the complicated things about storage. So it provides the ease of use of a USB direct attached device with the protection normally associated with RAID systems. And it's a robot because it does it autonomously. Is that because people just don't back up their own data? And if so, why, why is that? And, and how did you, you know, how are you solving that? Well, yeah, people have always had problems backing up data, figuring out what, you know, where, where to put things, make sure it's safe. Some people put it on two or more disks, and then you have to manage it. People try to use RAID systems and find them to be, have all kinds of problems. So that's why we built Ro Drobo, which is a full-on storage appliance to keep your data safe at all times. Let me come on this side of you and you have, let you get, walk us through the product. So what's, what's under the here with Drobo. Okay, when I take the cover off of Drobo, you'll see that inside are space for four drives. These drives are industry standard serial ATA drives that come from any manufacturer of any size. They, when we put drives into Drobo, they're sucked into Drobo and made to look like a single pool of protected storage. So, so we'll have here, for example, you have three drives. Um, we have three green lights, which I'm assuming means they're all fine. Yes. So, in the event, so this is this is protecting our data. We have the data on a computer. We have it on Drobo. What if one of these drives dies? Ah, excellent. So, if one of these drives were actually to drive to die, you'd see a flashing red light by it. But let me just show you what would happen in the event of a okay. drive failure. We're running a movie here on the screen from um, from Drobo. Okay, so but we're not running it off the computer, we're running it directly off that Drobo. That is absolutely correct. And by the way, the computer, since Drobo is a USB attached device, could be a PC, could be a Mac, anything that has a USB 2.0 port. Okay. So let me go ahead and fail a drive. Um, and you can see that the movie keeps running on Drobo, so the user's work is, is protected and uninterrupted. Meanwhile, Drobo tells you what it needs to, what you need to do. Okay, so there's a red light, which means drive failed, and yep. then the, this is the storage, and the storage was down here, and now that we've lost one, it jumped up. That's so exactly you have two indicators there. Correct. Okay. Yeah, capacity and then status. And if you don't remember what the lights mean, on the back of the front cover is the uh, simple red, green, yellow traffic light model okay. that is the user management model for Drobo. Okay. So, so at this point we've lost a drive, but we still have our data. Yep. Now, what if we want to replace a drive? How does that work? It's very simple. You get any drive, any serial ATA drive, and put it into Drobo. No carriers are required on the drives themselves, so you'd literally just take it out of the package and put it into Drobo, very simply. What does Drobo do with this new drive? Does it start copying data to it? Is that what it's going to do? Or? It, yes, essentially it pulls, it pulls the drive into the system, makes that space, new space, instantly available to you, and, and then proceeds. See, it just turned green and, and our capacity went back down. Yes, correct. So, and now, so what you did was fail a drive, but I'm assuming we could also just, you know, if we're running out of space, just take out this 120 and put it in a one terabyte if we so chose? That's exactly right. That's what makes Drobo expandable. So you can keep growing because the industry keeps making bigger and faster drives. You can replace the smaller drives with bigger drives, thereby increasing your pool of protected storage. And not worrying about data loss. So let me ask you another thing. Um, you said this is both Mac and PC compatible. Yes. In the new OS X version, we have Time Machine. Yes. Is Drobo something you could use with Time Machine or something you use instead of Time Machine? Oh, great question. Drobo is the perfect complement for Time Machine, which requires an external drive. Drobo, because it's expandable, can keep an, a large, uh, the largest possible number of Time Machine snapshots on the device. So it's it's a wonderful complement to Time Machine. Great. Well, yeah. We want to thank you for uh, giving us the look at uh, the Drobo. Yep. And um, really a great product. We actually are very familiar with this, but we wanted to let you guys know about it. Um, good luck with the product. Good luck with CES 2000. I'm Andrew Edwards. We'll be back with more coverage right after this.